Hey gals and guys, let's show you the wall squat, all right? This is a really good exercise because it supports you as you do the squat. You may struggle to do a proper squat with proper form, but when doing it with the belly ball, it really gives your back stability as you're coming up and coming down, and it isolates more of the legs. A lot of times when we do squats, we compromise, we try, we bend forward too much and we bring in our back. We don't want to do that. We want to keep the pressure on the thigh muscle. This is what we're trying to work. So what we're going to do, we want to put the belly ball up against, pretend you have a wall in your house. Now I'm only using this rail for purposes of showing you how to do it here in my garage studio. But we're going to go here. I'm going to put it in about the small of my back. All right. I'm going to come straight down and straight up. Now again, remember when we do the squat or the lunge, we don't want to lock the knees at the top. We want to keep a slight bend. That keeps the pressure on the thigh muscle, which is what we're trying to accomplish. Pressure on the thigh muscle. I mean, I'm not using any weight, and I can feel that. I can really feel that. Now you do 15 of those, and I guarantee you, you're going to feel it. Now, if you want to take it a step further, come down and do a half hold. Ha! Yeah. Called wall squat hold, whatever you want to call it, belly ball wall squat hold. Just hold it. And then do some little pulsations. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, you incorporate those little half pulses, half reps, if you will, with the hold, you're going to burn out your thighs, you're going to shape up, and you're going to look good in that summer bathing suit. All right, be well.